Hey guys, Dale here, back with a brand new RimWorld series. We are doing the Rim Effect mod, so uh, we're calling this Rim Effect Project Lita. Um, let's take a look, I guess. I'm not going to do a part zero, we're just going to like roll roll into like episode one. Uh, but let's talk about the mods that we have added. So like looking at graphics setter, we can see what's added a lot of content. Um, Save our ship, we have that back. Uh, you gotta grab it off their GitHub. You can get it from their Discord. Um, you know, some mods that are like just upscaling vanilla and DLC textures, alpha animals, alpha biomes. Uh, we are venturing into the Andromeda galaxy is kind of like our premise here. And so we want a really alien looking world. Uh, we disabled basically all the vanilla biomes. So we're just gonna have alpha biomes and the alpha animals should kind of like change it up. I know I don't think I can disable the vanilla animals, but I'll play around with it and we'll see. Uh, more just like upscaling textures. Um, Rem effect is obviously going to be like the feature of this playthrough. And then you can see we have just like a bunch of random vanilla expanded stuff. We have SRTS, uh, more Rem effect stuff. So we'll take a look at some of the mod pages real quick, just so you guys can get a preview of what that content looks like. If you haven't played with any of the Rim effect mods before, it's been a few years since I've touched them. Like, um, I know that all the stuff looked really cool, but I'm going to be kind of learning and, uh, trying to remember as we go. So, uh, Rim effect core, you gotta have this. If you want to play, uh, any of the Rim effect uh, with the other pieces of the Rim effect mods, uh, you can see it adds a couple storytellers add some really cool looking weapons uh, and then a few different versions of armor so we have light armor regular armor and heavy armor and helmets to go with it um, we also have some like uh, what is it um, other body gear fatigues formal shirts jackets uh, looks like officer dress officer uniform stuff uh, science uniform and then the specter armor which um, looks pretty cool uh, not sure. It looks like maybe, I don't know. I, I was thinking, is this like a rocket launcher or a jump pack? But it might just be a cool looking spalder and a little specter uh, visor. Uh, in addition to that, there um, is this Omni tool. Uh, I think you can upgrade it. So like when you first install it, I think maybe there's like a combat drone, but as you upgrade it, you can get cryoblast, defense matrix, and a shield it looks like. Um, incinerate and overload, that's pretty cool. Sabotage and tactical cloak, nice. And then biotic amp, uh, I think these are, if you have like a biotically gifted pawn, um, I think you can enhance them with these different amps uh, and they can have these different powers. So um, it'll be cool to like play with all that stuff. And then just like visually, there's like so much stuff. There's all kinds of furniture, beds, tables, um, power sources that kind of like fit into the Mass Effect vibe. Uh, so I'm pretty cool. Uh, I'm pretty excited to see uh, a base built with that stuff and how cool it'll look. Um, and then Rim Effect N7, like some more armors and weapons. These are meant for kind of like, um, like some sort of like special ops for the Systems Alliance Marines. Um, so you can see like some darker tones here. They have a blade. Um, and then I guess some gear that might enhance biotic strength. So this adept suit and hood. Um, the shield looks pretty cool as well. Uh, oh, actually, let's see. Um, we also have the Asari and the Drell mods. So let me go find those real quick. Okay, must have closed those tabs accidentally. So Asari and Reapers. So this actually adds a lot of content to Rim Effect. Um, a new storyteller will actually be using her. Some Asari weapons and armor, as well as just like some other Asari clothing. Um, and then it looks like additional biotic abilities, the Asari race itself, and then Reaper invasions. So this is similar to that, um, like the mechanoids expanded where like the mechanoids land ships, but it's Reapers instead. And so the more ships they land, the more powerful they might become when they raid you. Um, so we'll have to go and visit these sites to make sure that like when we are getting raided by reapers um you know we're 
we're not buffing them or upgrading them or whatever the case may be. I don't think I've ever had a Reaper, Reaper invasion before. So um, that'll be that'll be new. We'll see like how dangerous they are. If they're just kind of like another version of mechs or if they're a different challenge altogether. So um, we'll, we'll hope that it's something that we can handle. We'll play cautiously. Um, I'm like a little like uh, on edge after we lost so many people in the Viking Wolf playthrough. So we'll we'll see how this one goes. Uh, Drell adds Drell as a race, adds um, some gear for them, some weapons. They also um, have this body and soul modes. So we'll kind of have to like play around with that and see how that goes um, and see what kind of like works for us. The other kind of like big mods that are really going to change up the feel, alpha animals, so just all kinds of other animals being added, and then alpha biomes, like really to just kind of like give it a more alien feel to the world. So um, yeah, uh, we'll take a look at just kind of like um, what I did to get us started. So. Selected Alliance Colony, uh, removed the Alliance Colony, <laughs> um, because we are, we are out on our own. We are not, like, revisiting an abandoned colony. We also don't have a Systems Alliance faction, uh, so I removed our faction modifier, um, since they aren't going to be on this world with us. Uh, other than that, the only other change that I made is the premises we are a smaller ship that went to Andromeda. We had like a vault of embryos with us. So I added 50 embryos to our start with here. Um, and that's how we're going to like colonize this world by gestating colonists, um, growth vats, um, and seeing what happens. So uh, we'll hit next here. I did um, pick Liara. Uh, so Liara creates story events on classically increasing curve of challenge and tension. She'll start you off with good events, then slowly start sending harder and harder threats until she bestows good events on you once more. So um, that'll be interesting. We'll see how that is. It's like Cassandra, but uh, she gives us a break occasionally. Um, I always play on Blood and Dust, but I do custom because I do a couple things. I always change child rage aging rate. Uh, to like max. For Viking Wolf, we also increased adult aging rate, but I don't usually do that. I usually do wealth independent mode. That's been interesting. You got to make sure that you are scaling with time. Um, so you got to like pay attention to, to time progressing because those raids can just like surprise you. Um, especially if you're, you're playing Randy and you haven't had a raid in a while, it can be it can be a surprise to see what happens. Um, yeah, and that's that's about it. I think um, we'll just like back up and we'll load our save and I'll show you guys the world and introduce you to our colonists. Okay, world is a bit bigger than Viking Wolf. I like Viking Wolf, we scaled, scaled it all the way down. I think this is like half sized. Um, we do have some other like humanoid uh, alien framework, humanoid alien races framework. Uh, factions slash aliens that we added. So here's a couple of horror aliens and factions uh, right there. These guys are also a horror alien uh, race. Um, and then Rotfish are a xenotype. This faction is a xenotype. Um, and I pretty much made it so that we, I don't think we should be encountering any baseliners. I think this like tribe should be something else. So, um, but yeah few different other xenotypes here and then this guy this is your faction icon when you choose a system alliance colony or outpost or whatever it was um so that's us uh no vanilla biomes so we have like a gelatinous super organism up here feralisk infested jungle forsaken crags that looks like ocular forest more of it here uh, down here is mycotic jungle um and then what is this more organism, more feralisk, okay. Uh, tar pits, forsaken crags, just one tar pit, interesting. Up here is propane lakes, and then you can see a, like a big swath of the world is um, 
the Galatross graveyard. So the parched mud flats are littered with the ancient bones of colossal Galatrosses. Apparently the highly intelligent beasts are coming here to die and to mourn their fallen relatives. So that's what we've landed on. Uh, we'll take a look at like our map. Uh, this is what it looks like. Um, planning wise, uh, a little caught off guard because there is um, this fine sand that is that we'll have to like build bridges on or build foundations on before we can actually do construction on it. Um, so that's going to take some time. I think we'll be planning the base like kind of as we go. Um, and then also fertility wise, this um, cracked mud has 80% fertility. And then there is this fertile rich cracked mud, which has 120%. Um, I don't think I can dig this up and move it around, so I'm very used to that. Uh, we're gonna have to figure that out, and you know, eventually we'll just we'll probably do hydroponics, which I haven't done in a long time. Um, but yeah, and since we'll be doing hydroponics, I decided that like our initial base setup, we're gonna be a little off center over here. So like I always mark the center of the map. Um, I think this is this will just be like our initial border. We'll play with some buildings here, but there are two steam geysers um within here so i figured okay this looks like we can wall it off pretty easily um and have some good space um thematically you know i kind of want like a science and military type installation um as part of the base and then i want it to be a little uh rural a little kind of like you know uh, Western on the frontier of colonization and the Andromeda galaxy kind of like feel for our regular colonists. Um, so we'll see how that kind of like plays out um, in this space. I'm sure we'll, we'll end up taking up a bit more space than that because I can't help myself. Uh, but for now we have a stockpile here. We're going to build some walls and some initial power. Um, and then we have some farming that we'll be doing down there. Uh, colonist wise, we have like uh, Kif here. Uh, so he's in the regular alliance armor. We have Mish and Will, who are in like the light armor. We have Ven. Uh, he's rocking the science uniform. He's going to be our doctor, Dahlia, who will be our researcher. Uh, and Vitemi, who's wearing uh, some like commando, sorry, like commando type gear. Um, so Kif, uh, biotically skilled, experienced combatant, gun nut, Mish, uh, expert shooter, stealthy, ironed Will. Uh, Will is very nimble, tough jogger. Then great memory, super immune, beautiful. I was reading about the drill, and apparently the first drill that was like added to Mass Effect was intended to be like a romanceable male character. So I was like, oh, we'll make we'll make Ven beautiful, and Delilah, who's going to be like our head researcher for this project. Um, you know, also medically skilled because part of a big part of the project is growing colonists. Um, fast learner, sanguine, Vitemi, biotically skilled, kind, clean. Um, so biotically skilled, she already has biotic abilities, which is pretty cool. That'll be interesting to play with. Kif, to you? No, we might have to figure out those like biotic amps for him. I think we do have an Omni tool. And um, Kif, let's go ahead. Can you use the use Omni tool to teach abilities? Cool, let's do that. We'll free you guys so you can start hauling. Um, there are embryos everywhere, <laughs> fifty of them. Um, yeah, so let's let's let them do the things. Let's let's check out this Omni tool. So defense matrix re matrix reinforce armor with protective Bocult currents. Okay, so what if? Do we just hit it? Okay, and then he has like a little shield. Omni tool level one. Okay, so Omni tool is self-installed, like a mech link, um, and then I think like a mech link, you you upgrade it by just installing another one. Let's take a look at Vitemi's abilities here. So dark channel, plague an opponent with a persistent, painful biotic field that latches onto nearby targets if the target falls unconscious. Okay, okay, so. Basically, like, we afflict someone with pain, and then if they get downed, then it hurts people next to them. That's cool. Um, biotic throw. Use mass effect field to deal blunt trauma to the enemy. Okay. Biotic lance. Devastate a small area. Okay, so, like, an AoE. 
pole. I would imagine that's just like a hook. And then biotic wrap creates rapidly shifting mass effect fields that shred a target apart, lowering its armor. Further biotic attacks can cause detonation. Interesting. Vitemi does not meet the requirements. I wonder what the requirements are for that. Um, maybe biotic amp, maybe more like biotic amp stuff. Um, okay, interesting. So we did start with like 20 advanced components. So research wise, we start with production, high tech research. Do we start with fabrication? We do. That's cool. Okay, cool. Um, spacer tech research bench. Let's maybe queue you up right there. And manufacturing bench. Maybe we'll queue you there, but we'll forbid you for now. I don't think we're going to need all of this space. Um, and we're going to want to get some beds. Five, six beds. Let's do that. Um, probably a table for them also. So they made quick work of hauling. Um, let's get all the steel in as well. I know... So we can build this wind turbine. Power-wise, what do we have available to us? We I saw that we had this prefab generator. It requires some plasteel, and it's fueled by uranium. So we have some uranium down here. We don't actually need to mine it right now. Let's take a look and see if we see any, like, plasteel, though. Just, like visible plasteel we only need 85 and i'm curious how much power that thing gets us oh do these need plasteel steel advanced components steel okay cool um don't see any visible component or plasteel we are playing with like rim themes and we have like the rim effect theme so i keep hearing like this random like sound um and i'm not enjoying it so i might pop into the rim themes and uh disable those sounds we'll see if i can figure that out um not seeing any visible plasteel but this looks like a huge chunk of uranium so if we come across any we'll build it and we'll test that out uh okay delilah you're just like chilling Ven and Delilah working on getting us some food going. We do have plenty of meals for now, 88. Yeah, why construction skill too low work? Who is our constructor? Kif is, he's at a five. What does this door take? Six, okay, so we can just like, maybe work on some furniture. Uh, bed? I don't see like the prefab bed um, but we can just build some like wooden beds for now five, six um, we probably don't have that much wood I think this is a tree we can chop it so we'll see what comes out of it and then we will ancient bone this fossilized bone might have belonged to an exceptionally large galatross. Okay. Okay, Delilah, let's speed you up. Let's see. It is wood. Perfect. Um, let's grab maybe just like this corner, visible area. Okay. Oh, nice. We were able to like pound out a few beds. Okay. Table. Armchair, bedside tables, prefab table, two by four. Ch -ch -ch, prefab table. Ooh, this is a pretty cool looking table. It's huge though. Um, two by two. Oh, uh, there's six of us. Yeah, I guess we could do this. Like, it's not that big of a deal. Um, maybe we do it like right here and then let's get them some chairs. Let's just build like four for now. Um, 
And I guess we'll just build them like a regular door for now. Uh, structure. Just like stick it right there. That way they're not hanging out outside. Okay, lighting. Furniture. Okay, so we have the standard lighting prefab 30 and a prefab component or 20. Let's just do this for now because um, uh, we are not mining steel yet. Let's see, there's nearby steel. And this needs, oh, it, we probably just don't have the construction for it. So, oh, perfect. He, he's up to six now, which is great. Oh, let's do this thing. Um, let's do attack and let's set this to industrial for now. I don't think we have herbal. Um, so I like to set these guys all to like unrestricted. Edit and then let's see, delete social, delete one drink per day. Uh, and then unrestricted is actually, I guess beer and smoke leaf are fine for addictions and social. And then no Lucifer. Well, I guess if like they have a Luciferium addiction, that's fine. And then for no drugs, it is no drugs ever. Okay. What else can we work on furniture wise? How to light. No tables. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I guess we could just like put a regular research bench down because it's gonna be a bit it's gonna be a minute before he gets to anyone gets to like eight um wait how much does a construction six okay so we can put like a high-tech research bench down and then get rid of it once this guy is built alliance terminal oh that takes plasteel okay um, we are mining some steel. I guess we can maybe deconstruct this stuff for steel. Oh, that's the other thing we should do. We should start cutting some stone so we can, like, put our perimeter wall up. Production, stone carter's bench. Sure. Uh, I think that'll be fine. And new lovers, Kiff, tried to romance Vitimi. Oh, interesting. Okay, let's get you guys a proper double bed, I guess. Oh, and let's extend the power cable. Zone. Let's do this. So this will be low priority. This will be normal. This will be for chunks and raw resources, except for plant matter and I guess mushroom stalks. I was looking for wood. Mushrooms, I guess all these things. All these things that look like wood because they might degrade outside. Okay, storage-wise. Oh, that sound happens every time I hit pause. Ooh, that's weird and annoying. Um, how are we on wood? Do we... This is very deserty, so I would imagine... But if we select all, there's only like 26 around. Okay. Um... So we need to start building some storage space because this looks this looks like a mess. Um, and we also need to build some recreation. Bastille. Okay. Horseshoe. We can do that. And then I guess we'll just do this for now. Furniture. Can we 
do batteries power but we do not have batteries okay persona core offer interesting that's weird to get that right away um what was i thinking about oh this guy make any stone blocks do forever let's just like decrease the radius to 30. perfect and these don't look like slate mud chunk okay the other thing that I wanted to check was, is everyone, everyone should be able to mine. Will, we'll have you mine before you like do stone cutting though. Okay, are there any like stumps around that we should like harvest too? Uh, Kif, I don't really want you cutting. Will, you can probably not cut as well. The Temi. We'll just have, like, those three do it because they're faster at it. We have, like, plenty of other stuff that we could be doing around base. Um. But, yeah. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I've been talking for, like, 25 minutes straight. Um, anyhow, uh... Not a very exciting episode. I'm like, I'm super stoked to actually be like seeing really cool looking furniture uh, and this like construction, like this manufacturing bench. Uh, we haven't even built it, but it looks super rad. So um, anyhow, uh, you know, I'll bring us back tomorrow. I'll bring us back tomorrow uh, when we have our first event. So, you know, we'll just like do this boring setup stuff uh offline and uh when the next event happens uh, i'll start up recording but until then uh have a good one i hope you guys are excited about the series and i'll catch you next time bye